Across the world, women and girls bear the burden of HIV-AIDS. In Africa, more than half of people living with HIV are women. In our daily lives, we have seen what the HIV epidemic has done to our families, friends and communities. Due to biological, economic and social reasons, women are at far greater risk of contracting HIV than men. Although condoms are still the most effective way to prevent HIV transmission, an oral PrEP or pre-exposure prophylaxis is being made available. Current prevention options are not enough to lower the rate of new HIV infections. Because of different living conditions and lifestyles, women have different preferences and needs. No one prevention option would suit all women, and hence, we need a variety of options from which women can choose. Vaginal microbicides are a new option currently being developed and tested to protect healthy HIV-negative women from becoming infected with HIV during sex. These microbicides are inserted into the vagina, therefore offering protection right at the location where infection could occur during sex. A vaginal ring containing an antiretroviral ARV is the most promising method of microbicide delivery tested so far for use by women. The ring contains the ARV depivirine, which prevents the HIV virus from using a human cell to make copies of itself after it has entered the cell. The flexible ring is worn inside the vagina, up against the neck of the cervix, where it slowly releases the microbicide in small quantities into the walls of the vagina. Each ring lasts for a month before it needs replacing with a new ring. Women can discreetly insert the flexible silicone ring into the vagina and go about their daily activities undisturbed. It is easy to replace each month and there is no need to remove the ring during menstruation or sex. It is not felt by either partner during sex and enables their male partners to continue using contraceptives such as condoms. The Depivirine vaginal ring has just completed the most advanced stages of clinical research and results from two pivotal phase 3 studies were released in February 2016. The ring study conducted by the International Partnership for Microbicides and ASPIRE conducted by the Microbicides Trial Network tested whether the depivirine ring was safe and effective in preventing HIV infection. More than 4,500 women from Southern and Eastern Africa participated in these studies. All study participants were HIV negative and on stable contraception. They were counseled to continue practicing safe sex and were provided with HIV prevention tools such as condoms. In these two studies, the women were divided randomly into two groups. One group received the depivirine ring and the other a dummy or placebo ring that did not contain the ARV. Neither the participants nor the researchers knew which type of ring individual women received. This ensured that the results would not be biased in any way. Despite all efforts to keep women from getting infected with HIV, some study participants became HIV positive during the trial. In both the Ring study and Aspire, the number of new HIV infections was about one-third lower among the group of women who used the Depivirine ring, showing that on average, the ring prevented one in three HIV infections in the active arm of the trial. In both studies, protection from the ring was high among women older than 21 years. Women in this age group also wore the ring most consistently, which is a critical factor in all efforts to prevent HIV. Researchers were encouraged that in one particular subgroup of participants, more than half of the women were protected from HIV. Both the ring study and Aspire saw little or no protection among women aged 18 to 21 years, and this may be due to poor adherence to the ring, meaning that many of the women in the younger group did not keep the ring in continuously as directed. More research is needed to better meet the needs of young women. Both studies established that the depivirine ring is exceptionally safe, with no serious side effects reported. Because it does not provide 100% protection, the depivirine ring should ideally be used in combination with other HIV prevention methods such as condoms. Based on the encouraging results, the depivirine ring will be made available to women who took part in Aspire and the ring study they will be invited to join two new studies called DREAM and HOPE. These studies are known as open-label extension studies, and unlike the Phase 3 studies, there will be no placebo or dummy arm. All women who enroll in either of these studies will be given the active ring which contains 25 mg of depivirine. 
These studies are also providing answers to questions such as how women will use the ring when they know that it actually provides protection. Will they be more adherent knowing this? And further data on safety and the prevention of HIV infection. Currently, the International Partnership for Microbicides, the developer and license holder of the Depivirine ring, is preparing a dossier of scientific and clinical information and data. This dossier will enable them to seek approvals and licenses from health regulators for this new HIV prevention tool. Once licensed and approved for public use, the Depivirine ring could address a central gap in HIV prevention strategies. The need for a discrete tool that women can use to take charge of their own health and protect themselves from HIV infection. Microbicides, giving women new hope and choice in HIV prevention.